All right, guys, here it is. This is it. This is the Galaxy Note 3 Verizon Edition, and we have a custom recovery. Hash code has struck again with another version of SafeStrap for this device. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you what we're on. Um, right now, I'm on the MI9 build, but there's also an MJ9, I think, uh, newer OTA that this should also function on. Um, may work on other newer OTAs that, uh, eventually when we get more updates, but the biggest thing is is this uh, S Linux status, SE Linux status says permiss permissive. If that gets changed to enforced in a new or another OTA update, it's probably going to kill uh, SafeStrap. But as long as it's not, probably will function on any of the new updates that we get as this device gets updated to either uh, you know probably kick hat eventually. Um, so anyway, that's what we're on. Let me go ahead and just show you guys how to install this and uh, how to get it uh, going and testing and make sure it's working and everything. So this should be fully functional. Um, basically what you're going to do is download the file, which I'll give you a link to in my video description. And once you download it, just come on in here and right here is my file. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to say it's blocked, so just hit unknown sources, allow only one time, hit install. And this will go ahead and install Safe Strap Recovery for you. When you're done, you can hit uh, open. And it should open up the application, ask for a super user. So obviously you're going to have to have root access on your device to use this. Um, agree to the disclaimer. And go ahead and click on install recovery. So now everything should be fully functional in here. Um, what I see is the install recovery works, uninstall recovery works. Reboot to recovery I guess does not at this point from what I read. Um, the only thing that doesn't, they're, they're working on ROMs right now for it. I know you can make, take a back, backup of stock and then restore to a ROM slot um, to go ahead and have a safe ROM to mess with and tweak. So. You're installed at this point. It says right there installed. Here's your super, uh, your safe strap version right down there by my finger. And from here we can basically just reboot the device. So power uh, restart. And you should see on reboot, you should see the safe strap splash screen. And we're going to click on the menu button or the screen, I'm not sure which, and it'll get us into um, safe strap. So right here, this is custom just because I've edited some things. You have the custom status. I haven't tripped my knock sensor yet though, so that's a good thing um, if I have warranty. So just hit the screen right there. You can see I hit it and it should boot us into recovery. Okay, so here we go. We're in recovery. This is uh, Safe Strap, which is based on uh, Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. And it is 2.6.3.1 version I have about 67 percent battery life which isn't amazing but should be fine for what we're doing this device has a big battery um, so first things first don't touch anything before you do anything first thing you want to do is come right into here to backups make sure they're all selected and then um, this is doing an auto generated backup name so I'm just going to leave that and then just swipe across and go ahead and create your first Android backup on safe strap this is really important that you guys have this backup because if anything goes wrong you will be able to restore your stock system or a ROM slot now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a backup of stock and then I'm gonna install it to a ROM slot and then that way if you boot up that ROM slot it doesn't matter what happens on that slot once you're booted if you know how safe strap works you can mess it up totally goof it up and then just boot back to your stock slot and you'll be back in business running without any major issues. So if you want to do themes or edit or do whatever you want to do to that uh, ROM slot, you'll be good to go. Um, so like I said, I'm going to try to get in this and explain a little bit more for you. I'm going to let this thing run and I'll try to explain some more stuff on it as we go through this process. Just a quick note guys, uh, this recovery, the screen turns off on it after it sits for a little bit. It's still making that Android backup. So if you want to get back in, just hit the power button and then you just swipe across and it'll unlock it and let you get back to what see what's going on. You can see it's still uh, it's still creating my backup so um, just just be aware that that's that's how it functions. Alright guys so this backup is pretty much done 
Um, it's just generating an MD5 file right now that just kind of proves that the backups are good and when you restore them it checks that to make sure that they're not corrupted. A couple things I want to point out. My f backup here just of this stock system is about 4 gigs and I have it set up to back up to my external SD card which I have about 14 gigs on. But just be aware that when you have your full ROM, if you're running stock ROMs, they're going to be big. Like say 4 or 5 gigs. Um, so when we set up this uh, ROM slot, you'll see in the next step here, you want to make sure you have plenty of space to do that on. And you can create multiple ROM slots on your device, um, just depending on how much room you have on your internal SD card, because that's how it and where it uh, creates the ROM slots. Okay, so the backup is complete of our stock system. It says reboot system now. Don't Just don't do that unless you really want to, but just back out twice. And what I want to talk about here is the understanding of this recovery system. It's not like any other recovery system you've seen because it's a dual booting recovery system. Um, so the key and the whole point of it being safe strap is that this thing in red here, it says ROM slot stock. You never, ever, this is my opinion anyway, flash anything to this, st this um, stock ROM slot. You can but there's really no point with safe strap because you can just leave it alone that way if you ever mess anything up you can always boot back to the stock slot and you're back and functioning so the point here is just leave it if it's in red don't do nothing just leave it alone what we're going to do is we're going to go into boot options and we're going to create see rom slot one right now you're selected on stock we're going to create this slot stock uh this uh, slot and then i'm going to put a little bit more data in there. I want to have three gigs of data so that's three gigs of space for applications. If you want more, do more. Now you can see I have 22 gigs of free space. So I'm going to actually make this one a little bigger. Make both these bigger. System, I'm going to make three gigs. There we go. So I want to have plenty of space for all my applications and anything I back up and restore to this stuff. Cache partition, you can probably do the same. So you got it big enough how you like it. Go ahead and hit create, and again we're going to have a, you know, about mm, five to ten minute process here to create this slot, just like it was on your backup of this stock stock ROM slot. So we'll come back to it as soon as this uh, ROM slot is created, and I'll finish this up. All right, so that ROM slot is created. Now you can see it's in green now, and you can actually see at the top if you notice that change from red to this like green looking color. So what I like to do is I like to come in here and say set nickname. And this is called ROM slot 1. I want to call it, we're going to call it safe um, space or dash stock. Because this is still going to be a stock ROM because I'm just going to restore my Mac back up to it. So safe stock and then hit go and back. And you can see now it's called safe stock and then we have stock ROM on the one side. Stock ROM is always over here so it's not really a huge deal. Um, so, if, if we're highlighted here, anything we do here, you can see this is all white, is all going to get applied to that ROM slot. Okay, You flash a ROM, a mod, anything, you wipe, do any wipes, it's all done to that. If you come back into boot, uh, boot options right there, and you click on this one and hit activate, now you can see you're all back to red. So now it's gonna anything you do in here is going to affect your stock system, which you don't really ever want to mess with. Go back, activate, and now you're back to, like I said, your safe slot. So that's how you go back and forth. So you just keep in the safe slots and created slots over here. You multi-boot, you do all your fun stuff here, and you just basically leave that one alone. Uh, and it's just like a backup emergency thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to restores and this is my restore file for stock and I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe across and restore this to this ROM slot um, and that's gonna give me everything that I had on my stock system now on this ROM slot and it's safe and I can edit and do all my fun stuff so as soon as it's done we'll come back to it okay so our restore was successful um, we're just gonna go back out back out again keep going get back to your main screen uh, now something I want to point out to you guys is that if you're taking an Android backup and you're restoring it to a ROM slot from 
any ROM slot is fine as long as it's a ROM slot. If you're taking something that's in a ROM slot and restoring it to stock, you're going to have issues. Don't do that. So don't ever install it when this is saying red. Only time you can restore something on when it's in the red, the ROM st the stock slot, this one, is the actual stock backup that you took originally, the first one we took. But if you take a backup of something else later, or a backup of um, a ROM, when you're in a ROM slot, then you can only restore that to another ROM slot or the same ROM slot you created it in. Um, just kind of important to know that. So we're in a ROM slot right here. We should be good. We're just going to go ahead and reboot system. And because we're on ROM slot, we're going to boot to that ROM. And if we were on stock, we'd boot to stock. So we're going to go ahead and reboot to system. And now you should see the uh, splash screen here for safe strap. And it should be in green because you're on a ROM slot, not red. You can see there it's in green. It was in red before, so that's a good sign. Um, and if you want to get into recovery again, you hit it again, or you hit continue, or you can just let it go, not hit anything, and it'll boot normally. So anytime you want to switch back to your stock ROM, you just reboot the phone, hit the recovery button there on the splash screen, activate over, and boom, boom, bam, you're pretty much done. It's pretty simple, not really a hard thing to do. Now this should boot up fairly fast because I restored the cache partition. It shouldn't take too long, and there we go. Here we go, there we are. And I'm running my ROM slot, and this is exactly how my phone looked before when I took the Android backup. But now it's safe. If I want to mess with anything, I am good to go and uh, should be uh, all set. So there you go, that's it, guys. That's how to do a uh, safe strap, how to install it, how to get it functioning, how to just do a restore and then restore it to a ROM slot to get you a safe system to be running on. And. Um, Stay tuned on this because I will be definitely having ROM install videos. I think Beanstown has got, already got a stock ROM out for this, but this works also. Um, and I'm sure he'll be doing more now that we have SafeStrap functioning. And I will be doing videos on that as well for sure. So I hope you guys like this video. As always, huge thanks to Hashcode. Awesome, amazingly awesome developer who's really keeping these Verizon phones functional and fun. Um, that's it. Hope you guys like it. Talk to you later. Root Junkie, out.